like to welcome everyone here tonight, tonight um, of the Electric Vehicle Group. Tonight we'll be showing, screening the movie, uh, The Revenge of the Electric Car. So we wanted to welcome all to come here on this night. And, uh, okay, my name is Paul Payton. I'm one of the committee members here of the Electric Vehicle Group. Um, where should we start? Beginning. <laughs> okay. Is there any news around the garages? Any news of what um, anyone's up to with the electric vehicles? Is anyone doing any building or any work on that at the moment on vehicles? Thank you. <clears throat> Just something people might not be aware yeah. of. Um, we're currently we've been approached by this is the university, I should say. We've been approached by an entrepreneur who wants to take the the Aurora, the Aurora uh, community group. I don't know. You know the Aurora is. Um, they've been racing solar cars for the past 20 years now. Um, they've been interested in moving over to the commercial space. We've actually found an entrepreneur who wants to help generate the cash to actually build our commercially like street legal version of the Aurora car. So um, that's something that's coming together at the moment. And, and the Formula SAE students, they're doing quite well at the moment. They've just got themselves. They presented recently. Last month. They did present last month. Yeah. So they're still going fairly well. You probably know how they're going anyway based on last month. But, I'm hopeful we get to see their vehicle again before races. Well, hopefully well before racing this year. But yes. Yeah, <laughs> see we'll organise out this yeah. year. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Oh, that's good to hear. And those, and has anyone got any news that they wanted to bring along to the group tonight? On those, any events that are coming up or uh, any news that they wanted to bring to the group? The television show. Adrian, what was that about? Um, today, uh, this evening on Triple J, they had uh, Dick Smith on interview about his, his show tomorrow night on the ABC about uh, electric vehicles and, um, and renewable, uh, renewable power. Okay. Yeah, I heard that as well. It was uh, There's a doctor on tomorrow night, 8.30 on ABC One. It's called... Uh, Ten dollars. Ten, 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 ten bucks a litre. Yes, also, um, and I heard that on Triple J too. Uh, so it's great to hear a conversation about EVs in the mainstream media, uh, even though I don't think he was that positive about it. But he does have one, and he's got a solar array battery bank set up at his home. So uh, you know, he's a he's an advocate on our side now, so you know, who knows, maybe we'll come and speak at our group sometime soon. That's right, we've noticed in the press and in the last month it's been a lot of advertising for the Holden Bowl. Yeah. Um, of course the Nissan had quite a bit of advertising earlier on, but the Bolt and that's coming along and especially like the bit where they're announcing that it, you can recharge it, you know, for a dollar twenty a charge on those and that's and people start to realise and some of the economies that are involved with electric vehicles too, on those that um, once you have a car, then it's quite a lot, lot less expensive to run than what a petrol car needs to run as well. Mm. Yeah, I think there's someone here, Barry, who has a, a vehicle that might be for sale. Yes, my BMW, which is. Um I think I built about 40 years ago, in my batteries and so forth. Um, I'm tossing up whether to sell it or keep it actually, because I've just retired and I built it to drive to work, so I don't need it anymore. Um, so if anybody's interested, come and see me after the meeting. Um, expressions of interest, I think I'm at that stage. If anybody's interested in there. So I did a presentation here ooh, two years ago. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they can always talk to Barry then about that on those that are interested in getting a car. I've heard tonight also that we're going to have um, a Holden, one of the Holden Commodores. That Holden, um, Holden had a project whereby they were converting, they converted nine Commodores over to electric. And I've heard that one of the vehicles is going to be here tonight on those that you can have a look at. So after the film, after the film's over, um, we're going to be having tea and coffee and that upstairs. But first of all, we'd have like to have a good look at the vehicle, give you a chance to have a look over it and that after the, um, the movie. 
Uh, is there anything else you need to bring in? I wouldn't mind saying a little something about, uh, well, introducing a couple of new people to our committee. So Paul's reasonably new to our committee as well. And um, I'm Rebecca, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the secretary. Um, Dean, who's my partner, is the, the uh, facilitator or the convener of the group he's on well tonight. So Paul's stepping into his place. Um, but we've also got a very new enthusiastic uh, member in Robert. So. Uh, Robert spoke last month, for those of you who weren't here, uh, he's passionate about electric racing and he's actually keen to become our marketing face. So uh, to get uh, this theatre full of people next time we have this sort of event um, and I guess uh, expand our reach and that sort of thing. So uh, as part of that, uh, we're, we're thinking of having more regular meetings and organising things. Uh, apart from just the monthly meetings, so uh, working towards the the next EV Expo, which should be in February, and doing doing some more networking between the other electric vehicle bodies in the space. So uh, uh, the the SEA, SAE, for example, um, and so Robert's been going along uh, and uh, joining in on their meetings as well. So. Um, yeah, I'm really keen to have Robert on board, and thanks very much for your input so far. Um, and so, if, if anyone else is interested in joining the committee, a group of, of people and becoming an outward advocate for EVs, please come to who are passionate, but a lot of us are fairly time restricted especially myself, <laughs> not especially, I don't know about everyone else, but I know about that. Uh, so yeah, if there's anyone else enthusiastic who wants to join in and share the load, please come speak to us after. Did you mention about David? David, yes, about the car. Okay, yep. Yes. So uh, do you want to say who David actually is, or yeah. do you want to introduce him when he comes after the film? Um, maybe both. Just quickly now, I've got all your attention. Sure. Um, David is the designer of an electric motor that's currently in prototype stage. Uh, it's an actual flux motor, and the company name is AC Flux. Uh, and he's driving out here in one of nine EV Commodores that was built by General Motors, and we'll be able to have a look at it up the screen. Excellent. Can I have a drive? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he hasn't let me drive it yet, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start the movie. Is there really anything else? That anyone's got any news about anything, EVs that are, um, any events that are happening or have happened? Yeah? Uh, been chatting to Nick, who's working in the business team for uh, Swinburne, part of the Swinburne SAE race team, and uh, very enthusiastic in wanting to get involved in something else as well. I've been talking to Matt, who unfortunately can't be here because he's in some sort of machining workshop. Um, but it'll tie in really well the mind drive thing. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if you mentioned that at all. No. Yep. So we've got a, a Skype session with the mind drive people in the US who have started this project. Um, so if you go into YouTube and just type in mind drive electric car, you'll find out what it's all about. So Nick's getting involved with that. Matt's involved with that. And uh, it's pretty exciting stuff, actually. So. What, what that will ultimately involve are engineers, um, preferably engineers that have time, so maybe retired engineers uh, that want to help out with that. So if, if any of you here are engineers or business people or anyone with a little bit of time that wants to pitch in, you don't have to be an engineer, uh, please come and speak to me afterwards or if you catch Nick, there's Nick, give us a wave. Um, if you want to have a chat to either of us, please feel free to speak to us at any time. We need as many people as possible to get involved in this project. And I think it's going to be rewarding for everybody that does get involved. So MindDrive um, essentially is a, a, a program that involves uh, youth, and the youth? Or, at, risk, at risk youth. Yeah, disadvantaged at risk youth. Yep. Um, and, uh, and essentially gives them an opportunity to learn about EVs and perhaps converting them might be bike building to start with, or funding is low, that sort of thing. 
Um, and it ties in really nicely with some of the older objectives of the CB group, which were along the lines of trying to get a workshop space, a community workshop space, um, which is, was one of uh, Michael's uh, passions, passionate projects that uh, sort of became a bit too difficult. But under the model that has already been proven, uh, I think there's uh, an exciting opportunity to revisit that idea and actually engage the community and uh, and allow ourselves to actually contribute to uh, building up people's lives as well. So I'm sure we'll get all sorts of uh, media cred for that sort of thing too. So yeah, there's all sorts of benefits to that project. So uh, it might be something that's discussed a bit in the background with the committee initially, and then uh, we might actually have a meeting about uh, that, that project. Yeah. That's right, like on our group Facebook page. There's a lot of information like MindDrive. I remember there was a link on that as well as other information that was on our Facebook um, group page. Yeah, please um, like us on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> Any, anything else that you wanted to bring along to the meeting? Anything else tonight? Are we ready to start the film? I think we can.